Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kate. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Kate, like I said. If you're coming back, thanks for coming back for another like really good video. Enjoy the life, the ride, the experience of me. Um, so today, what do I have in store for you all? I did a little get ready with me of a natural, like natural glowing look for me to go out with my boyfriend tonight. Um, so just, I wanted to take you guys to get along and get ready with me because I haven't done one of these in a while and I just kind of want to show you guys from start to finish what I do on how I get ready and then just show you guys what I do. I hope you guys enjoy. So stay tuned. No, no, no. Ah, okay. First order of business is I have to fix my hair. No, I did not make it look like this just for the video and make it look more drastic. I worked out this morning and haven't washed my hair yet and then I was doing some other stuff. So it looks like this because that's how it looks. But I'm just gonna go ahead and fix it and shower. So you guys are gonna stay right here. Don't move. Things. And then I'll show you when I like blow dry it probably and like fix it. So let's go. Now that my hair is like clean now, um, let me show you what I use to wash my hair first. I use the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner because my hair is like very damaged, so it fixes it. And then to blow dry my hair, I'm gonna like speed through it, but to show you what I put in it. I use this milkshake and it's like heat protectant. It's like 12 things in one. Basically for me, all I know is like a heat protectant and it keeps my hair smooth and nice. So I'm gonna spray that all over and then halfway through when my ends are still pretty dry, but like won't like seep out like too wet, you know? I put in this Monate Rejuva beads and it helps connect all your split ends. So I'm just gonna go do that and listen to music because I can't talk for like five ten minutes when I just blow dry my hair. Okay so this is about how dry I'll get my hair. Sometimes I'll put it like not this dry. I just make sure my like head part is dry. I'll let my ends air dry a lot most of the time, but moving to like living in Florida compared to Indiana, I noticed my hair just gets a lot more flat. And because my hair is so like straight, if I don't blow dry it, it doesn't give it any volume. So that's why I have to blow dry it like every time I wash my hair, which has gotten better. I don't wash my hair as much as I used to, but that's that. And in a second here, we're gonna go do our makeup and our face. And get ready. I think I want to do more of a natural, like light glowy look. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to start with this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea primer. I'm just going to be using, as always, my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Perfector. This really is like one of my favorites I've used. I also don't know where we're going or when I'm going out so I wanted to film this video so I thought I'm gonna film it and I don't know the time frame of when I'm done to where I'm actually going out but that's fine I'll just set my makeup really well cuz I'm trying to get that content out to you all Once that looks like it's pretty on pretty well, I'm gonna go in with concealer. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And then on a concealer brush. Um, next, what do I do? Let's do brows. So for brows, usually I'll be I use a lot my Benefit Brow Cabrow. No, it's either Brow Zings or Cabrow. And it's shade two. But right now I'm gonna use the Goof Brow Pencil because this gives me a more natural look. 
and it's not as like heavy or Instagram brows. Gimme brow and just brush through my brows, make them a little fuller. And I brush backwards first, so like this way, and then I go up and lay them back down where I want them to be. Now I do this because it puts more product in your brows and like the inner part. So when you like you push them back, it puts it more in there. When you lay it down, it gives more fullness to it. I've done it both ways and I just seem to like this way better. Next is powder. So with powder, I am going to set my face a little bit just to prevent any creasings. And I'm going to be using my Kat Von D translucent setting powder. Just put a little in this cup here. And when I don't do too heavily, I'll use a brush. And right now I'm using my Morphe M430 a brush. I know I don't really say all the brushes I use. If you want to know, all the brushes I use or what I use, just let me know. And I just go over the lines of where I make most expressions. So like my smile lines are like. And this also helps keep my makeup on when it is really hot out. So even though it's an extra layer basically, it really is a layer of necessary components. If that makes sense. Moving on to my eyeballs, I'm doing a very like natural, br not bronzy eye, but like defining my eyes more. So I'm going to be using some of my Tartlet. Um, this is an Amazonian clay matte palette. My all time use palette, favorite palette for natural looks, use it all the time. And then I'm also going in with this Too Faced Milk, Milk Chocolate Bronzer, which is going to be the bronzer I use on my face. I'm just bringing it up to my eyes. And then... Urban Decay Primer Potion. Okay, a lot of my brushes are dirty right now in this container, so I'm gonna pick out the clean ones and work with that. That's usually what I do when I do like my everyday makeup, I just find my clean ones. I'm gonna go in and start with my transition color first, which is shade Super Mom right here. I'm just taking this on a Morphe N441 brush. And then just putting it in my crease a little bit. And I'm going to be focusing most of my color on the outer so I can define more of my eye more. And I don't want to bring any like darkness in. Keeping my eyes bright and open. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with shade Wander here. And I'm just going to take this on a Morphe, oh no, Z Zoeva. Also, love Zoeva brushes. 221 brush and closing my eye and just putting it on my crease about like halfway in a little bit. Once I have not a lot of the powder on there, so it's basically just the brush, I'm just going to be blending what's on my lid just in slightly. And then also blend it up. And then next I'm going to be taking that same brush and then taking my bronzer here. Just dip it in. There's so many ducks outside. And then just basically overlaying what I just did with the other shade Wander. Okay, so this is what I think I'm gonna keep with right now. It's just like a nice natural overlay that defines my natural eyelid well. And I use my bronzer that I'm gonna be using on my face because it just makes it more natural and because it's gonna be on my cheekbones right here, it's gonna match my eyes well, just all blend it together and make it more natural looking so it's not too dramatic or like bold or anything like that. And we will go back to our eyes in a little bit once I have like most of my face done, some finishing touches down there in, the, in my inner, but we're just gonna be moving on for now with my MAC Studio Fix. So we're going back to our face and I'm just gonna be brushing off all that setting powder. And I do that with the MAC Studio Fix, just tap it in there. And then next we're gonna be using bronzer, which as we were both using before, is the Too Faced Bronzer. Now 
Now basically I just follow my natural like, cheekbones, but then also I I basically bronze my whole face because I am real pale and I don't get any natural sunlight bronze and I don't use bronzing products because they scare me a lot. Okay, let me bronze this here. Last minute bronzing. After this, we're going to contour with my Cocoa Contour Kit. Just lightly though, so I'm only going in with the shade Medium Cocoa here. And then blush, we're going in with this blush. It's Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and Entertain. I lifted it up like that because it is entirely cracked on the inside lovely and it's like my favorite tart blush I th and I'm just gonna tap some of that off and for highlighter we're going in with the Anastasia glow kit and we are dipping into shade summer because it is, it is almost summer So going back to our eyes now, I'm going to be taking a small brush and I'm dipping it in back into summer and I'm going to be putting it on my inner eye. Now a lot of times I'll do this with my finger too, but I wanted to get it precisely done first and then I might go in with my finger. I'm also going to take my Jeffree Star Ice Cold highlighter and because this is so like basically white, it's very sparkly too so you have to be careful. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on the inner awesome. And then lightly take it. I'm just going to layer that actually. Let me very lightly. I absolutely love this highlighter. I used to use it so much but I stopped because it got to be a little too glittery for me but I still like love it. I need to get back into using that. It's so nice. Going back into our under eyes, and I'm going to be taking that shade Wander here, and I'm just going to be going under my lash line now. And I'm literally going to go in with like just the end of it. Because I still like connecting them always. I feel like it's more of a complete look, but I really don't want to go in. And then taking the same thing out with my bronzer to connect it. And then that, and then I need to get a lip shade. Okay. Off to find a lipstick shade. I found two lip shades that I might use. Not together, but like separately, but I might use. Um, I have this Sephora Gel Gloss, Ultra Brilliant. Does this have a shade? Yeah, it is Perfect Nude. And then also the Fenty Beauty. This is the Gloss Bomb. Let me taste on my hands, because I want to do like something light. But like also give me a little natural color. But let's do Fenty Beauty. And I really need to find a mascara. I don't want mascara I'm using. I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. The favorite mascara. I keep forgetting I didn't film an intro yet. Because I was gonna film it after I fix myself. So I'm using this Maybelline uh, Wear Boosting Setting Spray. Okay. okay, and then I'm gonna go find something to wear. I'm not taking it with me. It's gonna consist of either shorts, leggings, or a tube top. Maybe black jeans. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back in a little bit. See ya. I got my outfit ready. This is what I'm wearing later tonight. Oh, 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 girl. Mm. Yes, okay. 
So it's pretty much like I said what I thought I was going to wear. Black jeans and a crop top. This is basically like what I wear. It's just very comfortable and casual but like it can be nice. Not like nice nice but like just nice to go out and wear and it's comfortable and it's going to be hot tonight but then also a little chilly so I like my jeans. Oh. But I hope you guys liked watching this video and getting ready with me and just seeing what I do to get like fully ready from like start to like from whatever that was in the start to finish. Um, yeah, guys, it's so exciting. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow all my social media listed down below. I am Kate and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm.